Welcome to mechanical tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like surface modeling, sheet metal and enclosure design, product design, plastic components design, reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to explain about reducing gaps by using closure corners. So left side you can see the folded state of the component so there is a gap here this is the gap between the two flanges and uh, right side you can see there is no gap between these two flanges I am going to show you how to create closed corners in sheet metal module so this is the component so you can see the gap between these two flanges here I am going to unsuppress see here so let's start now so now I am going to create a simple component I am going to create one sketch so this is the rectangle I am going to make it equal And making this as 120 so I'm going to create base flange so this is a 2 mm k factor is 0.45 so now I'm going to create two flanges so approximately 80 mm see here two flanges so I'm going to take a uh, flange position inside uh, material inside and save it see here there's a gap between two flanges see here when I go to edit mode so the gap is 1 mm see here so I can reduce up to 0 0.1 see here see this is one method but still if I want to overlap one flange to other one then what I need to do is keep gap as one of them as it is here have to select close corners so select one face automatically takes the other see here when I see from top view see here. it is trying to close completely so here I can maintain point 1 see. so one more option we have overlap see here uh, when I see from the top view see these flanges are overlap see here I can do either ways so if I keep overlap so the flange tries to close completely so this is useful during IP ratings of the enclosure see when I make the flat and flat pattern see it is simple rectangular cutout see it's easy to make see. so this is the advantage of uh, closed corners 
so this is how usually we do the reducing gap by using closed corners thanks for watching